Do not suffer in silence. I am Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Gonna do a little podcast today. I promise you, I promise you my podcast and my videos will be on a lighter note. Um, but I have to talk about what I, when I do these podcasts, I kind of go with, uh, I'll be like, God, give me something to talk about, or I'll talk about something that's prevalent right now, or something I feel could really help people. Um, if you are a doctor, a dentist, or a teacher, or whatever you do, if you care about your profession, we are all here to help. So as a therapist, it is my duty to talk about this. It's my duty because I want to help somebody. Do not suffer in silence. Don't let your pride get the best of you. You do not have to tell your business to your family if you don't want to. You don't even have to tell it to a friend, but tell it to somebody. Uh, maybe you all don't know. Some of you all don't know. We are licensed as therapists. We are sworn. Like, we cannot tell your business. I cannot say your name and tell your business. That could cause me to lose my license. So, if you are suffering, it doesn't have to be only depression or with suicidal thoughts. It could be stress. That's still suffering. Don't suffer in silence. Get on the computer or on your cell phone and get to your EAP provider. That will get you linked up to a therapist. Psychologytoday.com. There are therapists on there from Alaska all the way down to... um, Texas, Wyoming, whatever is a W state, we are here to help you. I'm on psychology today under Tammy with an I T A M M I C Walker. We are here to help you. I'm doing this because I'm still upset over Twitch's passing. And like I'm reading comments on YouTube and they're like, This is the first celebrity I really feel sorry over, or I'm really mourning his passing. I want to do this because people are not understanding how Twitch could have committed suicide. He's dancing. He's happy. He's smiling. Have you all heard of Tears of a Clown? A lot of times comedians, they stand on that stage. They crack those jokes. But deep inside, they are tortured souls, musicians. They're artists. They get on that stage playing those guitars and doing splits. Remember Prince? He was in severe pain, addicted to pain medication. We have to be careful. And I'm sorry to always bash social media because I actually like social media. That's why I have a YouTube channel and I love Twitter. Twitter is my biggest platform. Just love it. But as good as it's good, these platforms can be bad because it's misleading and it's an illusion. And people think that so-and-so is so happy. They're smiling. They're dancing. But deep inside, they're begging for death. I can speak on this. I was a 27-year-old woman, 1997. And me and my ex-husband had bought a home. I had a newer car. I had an okay job. But my house was really nice, very well furnished. Uh, We were talking about, I think we had upgraded. He upgraded my ring and all this stuff. I begged to die. I would be in that bed like, God, just kill me. Hated being married. Hated. It was torture. Abusive throwing stuff at me, cursing me out. I don't even want to talk about that too much because I said I'm going to stop talking about it. But people didn't know what I was really going through. So that's a great example of Twitch. I hid how bad my marriage was from my dad because I knew my dad would kill him. My dad didn't play. My dad carried a gun. 
My dad was a sweetheart, very sweet guy, but he didn't play. He was old school from Alabama, and if he knew how my ex-husband treated me, he would have killed him. He would have definitely would have threatened him and wouldn't have been scared to back it up. So I, I didn't want my dad going to jail. So see, but nobody, a lot of people didn't know that about me. When women and men are in abusive relationships, they hide it. When people are depressed, they hide it. Why do they hide it? Why, did, why do they kill themselves if they have a family? Why, why do they smile when they're depressed? I'll tell you why. They hide it because I am a burden. This is how they think. The depressed mind feels low. When you're feeling good about yourself, what are you thinking? I'm attractive. Life is great. I'm excited for today. Something good is happening. What's my note? Good things are coming my way. It's on my desk here at home. I love the vibration of it. I read it every day. Good things are coming my way. I love the vibration of it. When you're depressed, you can't read a note like that and think that's true. This is how depressed people think some. I am a burden. I am a shame. With depression comes so much shame. Especially if you have not been depressed before, you feel ashamed that you feel depressed. I know it sounds crazy. I'm just telling you facts. I am depressed. I, okay, if you have chipper and happy people around you, you don't want to keep calling them saying, hey, yes, yeah, me, I'm down again. Although it's nothing to be ashamed over. They love you, your family, your friends, but you feel like a burden. And who wants to be the Debbie Downer or the Don Downer? You want to be happy. So I don't want to tell my wife I'm depressed. I'm a man of the family. Man up. You know, black community. People got mad because they did a video after uh, Twitch passed away saying how it's different for black men and people got mad. They always bringing up color. They always bringing up color. No, it's not. Stop stop being so defensive, everybody. It's not that at all. What it is, is in the black community, being in therapy was taboo. My father would have never gone to therapy. My uncles would have, I'm not going to say never, but they're not going to go. An old school black man, the chances of him going to therapy, it was slim. So that's why they're saying in the black community is taboo. Yes, 2022, 2023 is better. Young people are for real about their therapy. Black, young black guys, they will go. I have, I have them. So I could, I could speak on it. So it's better, but it was taboo in our community. I would have never gone to therapy in 1990 as a 20-some year old. I'm sorry, I'm lying. I'm lying because I did go. I went in 1998, but but I'm saying like 90, like 1987, 88. No, never, never. It wouldn't have came up in my home. It wouldn't have came up to me. And back then you were looked at like you were crazy. So this is how now Twitch, he hid it. I'm smiling. I'm dancing. That's that's what they call mask depression. And it's like they smile through the pain. I'm smiling, but deep inside, I'm hurt. Now, the rumor is he said, and I'm sorry if it's not true, but something he was challenged with from his past, he could not move past it. They started to make up stuff. He lost a lot of money. They said that's not true. <laughs> they said the family did not mention financial stuff. So it may come out. You know, some of this stuff comes out months later. But I just don't want you that listens to this to suffer in silence. Tell get if you have one good friend, you know your friends. I have a lot of friends, but I know my friends, and I know the ones I can really confide in. Hey, girl, I'm not doing well, you know. And I have such intuitive friends; they'll say something to me that could help. And they check on me, and I check on them. I'm just blessed. You know, I have a a sister, two sisters that really check in. Uh, Every day, basically, we talk. 
So they know. I tell my family, I live by myself. If some, if you don't hear from me, if you call me two days in a row, really one day, and you don't hear from me, send the people because something is off. They know my moves. They know how I roll. Please don't suffer in silence. Don't be so private and prideful that it causes you your life. You better than that. You matter. You're worthy. We are here to support you. This is a new day. You don't have to do that no more. Please. If you're feeling suicidal, call 988. Someone is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. English and Spanish. If you don't want to talk, you can text. If you don't want to text, you can chat. I hope something I said helps. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. And I thank you all so much. Share this if you think it'll help somebody. It's the holiday season. People are struggling. They really struggling right now. People are losing loved ones during this time. So um, share this if you will. Thank you so much. Tammy C. Walker. Bye-bye.